Good morning, everyone. I'm Tracy Gillespie, and I'm a member of the vestry, but I'm also this year's uh, stewardship campaign chair. And this morning I came um, to talk to you about stewardship here at St. John's, and I know it's a very personal topic um, for many of you, and it's a personal topic for me. And so I was searching for a story to share about what stewardship means to me, and I actually found it um, in this children's book. This is a book I read to my children when they were young, and it's called Keep the Lights Burning Abby. And Abby is a 12-year-old girl who lived on an island off the coast of Maine in 1856. And the reason she lived on this island is that her father was a lighthouse keeper. And so she lived on that island with her mother and siblings and father. And the father was responsible for keeping the lights burning in the, in the lighthouse. And one day in the winter, um, her father came to Abby and said, Abby, I need to sail to the mainland and get some supplies for the lighthouse some wicks and oil and food, and I need to get some medicine for your mother because she's very ill. And so I'm going to ask you to take care of everything while I'm gone. And she said, oh, Daddy, I'm kind of scared of this. What if you don't come back tonight? And he said, well, you know what, Abby? I have faith in you. I believe that you will keep these lights burning. So just be uh, cognizant of the fact that people are depending on you and everything will be okay. And so the father sailed back to the mainland and as day turned into night, the stormy seas rose and a big nor'eastern storm came through. And Abby realized her father wasn't coming back at all. And so she realized at that point, I need to keep the lights burning here. And so she climbed up the stairs into the lighthouse and trimmed the wicks and filled the oil um, lamps and got the lights burning because she knew that during those stormy times, there were gonna be so many ships, so many people depending on her being a beacon in the night. And so Abby was a steward of that lighthouse. And when I think about stewardship here at St. John's, I think about Abby's commitment to keep the lights burning. It's just like our commitment to keep the lights burning here at St. John's. It's easy to forget on a Sunday morning what all happens here during the week when uh, we're not necessarily here together as a congregation. All the caring community that Rob spoke of is a 24-7 project, and it involves so many ministries. For example, outreach like Hager's Basket and Room at the Inn, in-reach like pastoral care and family ministries like Matt uh, leads for us, youth ministries, um, everything from Sunday school all the way to senior EYC, which really is a hallmark of St. John's, and a, adult education, and of course, the music ministry, the handbell choir that we heard this morning, and the choir that's up in the loft this morning, and also the balance of the choir that's on retreat. All these ministries define who we are and fulfill God's purpose in our lives. And they really extend Christ's caring community among ourselves and out into the Charlotte community. And these ministries are supported by our pledge because our pledges make all of this happen. The buildings, the grounds, the staff. And it's up to us through our pledges to keep the lights burning and in fact to grow God's ministry here at St. John's. And we all know it takes funding to do this. And something that I didn't realize until I joined the vestry this year is that our budget has been flat for the past six years because our giving has been flat. And our budget is a million six, which sounds like a lot, but we've got a lot to support here. And so our hope in this campaign season is for people to step up to the next level of giving. 
We have three primary needs this year. Number one, because our budget has been flat for the past six years, our staff has not had a raise in six years. And I don't know about you, but I don't think that's something that I personally would like, and I don't think many of you would like it either. Secondly, we would like to increase our outreach budget to 10% of our overall budget, and currently it's a 3%. And finally, and probably most importantly, we're calling a new rector this year. And that rector will bring us leadership and vision for the ministries that we have here at, at St. John's. And what we want to demonstrate to that new rector is that we will provide a financially secure foundation for St. John's and for that rector's work. Because that rector can lead us, but we are going to be self-sustaining. So when, over the next couple of weeks, we talk about stepping up, let me give you an example of what that means. On October 8th, you're going to be getting some um, literature uh, from the stewardship campaign, and it is going to be a stair step of giving, where you'll be able to see groups of um, St. John members and how that group typically gives. And to give you an example of what stepping up means, for example, right now at St. John's, there are 35 members that give between $50 and $75 a week. If that group were to step up and into the next category of giving, that could yield $55,000 of additional funds to our budget. And that alone could make a huge dent in supporting um, our staff by increasing their salaries. And if we all were, as a congregation, to step up to the next level, that could yield over $250,000. And I know that stepping up in this way is a big commitment. And it's a personal commitment. And it may be something all of, uh, some of you have been thinking about doing and just didn't get around to, and I invite you to participate more fully this year. Or there are those of you that are in the congregation that are in a wait and see mode, like Rob said, in transition between our old rector and new rector. But investing in our future is wh what we're called to do right now. And finally, it might be a financial challenge for some folks but I prayerfully request that you prayerfully think about where you are in your giving today and where you would like to be. So over the next couple of weeks, there's gonna be a lot of opportunity to learn about all the wonderful ministries here at St. John's. We're gonna be posting videos of these ministries on our website. We're going to have testimonials here um, on Sunday morning, as well as in the bulletin and on the website and in emails. And so you'll get to learn about all the wonderful things that are going on here. And once the materials come, I ask you to read them and return your pledge card. It's really critical to bring this back to the church or put it in the offering plate because the vestry builds our budget based on pledges, not plate giving. So we need to make sure that if you're going to step up, we know about it. And if you, and if you aren't pledging, we invite you to consider that. So we anticipate that we will be successful in this year's um, campaign. And so on November 4th, We've planned a commitment celebration in the parish hall at 1015, where we invite everybody in the parish to come and celebrate our success uh, of giving and expanding Christ's caring community in Charlotte. I think together, prayerfully, we can move forward with God's grace into St. John's future. Thank you. <laughs>